Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. My first question is, have you seen the movie The Karate Kid? If no, watch the link that I will post below. If yes, you could also watch the link that I will post below to refresh your memory, but if you have watched the movie, you'll understand a little bit better than if you haven't. And when I was trying to find this video so that I could reference it, I realized I'm going to draw from the Karate Kid remake that took place in 2010 because the video that I will share with you doesn't have any bad language in it, so it will be a little bit better for the purpose of my explanation. People often criticize Catholics for repeating the Hail Mary, that prayer, when praying the rosary. The Bible is against vain repetitions not repetitions or repeating a good prayer more than once. So it's silly when people use that argument, but we're always repeating things that are very important to say. So being afraid of repeating a prayer in my mind is totally silly. All right, now my favorite comparison is this concept I like to call the Karate Kid Rosary concept. I can't think of anything more clever to call it than that. <laughs> So to recap what happens in the Karate Kid movie, basically this little boy asks the karate master to help him learn. In the first movie, I think it is in the way of waxing a car, like you'll hear people say wax on, wax off. In the updated movie, it is putting on a jacket. So he has the kid put on a jacket, hang it up, take it off. And he repeats this over and over and over. So finally, at one point in the movie, the kid just gets frustrated. And he's like, when am I going to be learning karate? I want to be here to learn karate, not to put my coat on and off. You know, he's annoyed. He doesn't understand. And he's at this breaking point. So then the karate master comes back and he's like, all right, put on your coat. And the kid doesn't really want to, but eventually he does. And as he's putting on his coat, I think that's what he's doing. Um, the karate master goes in for a punch but the motion of how he was doing things with his coat was able to block the attacks from the karate master. So what we learned from that was even though it seemed like he was doing this very mundane task or you know, waxing the car and doing these motions, those seemingly unmeaningful actions brought about this greater strength down the line. And in my mind, two very important things are happening and how I think of the Lord and us reciting the rosary or not even just the rosary, but praying to him in general. But uh, when it comes to the repetition, I think of the rosary. So two things are happening. The first thing that happens is it is showing that sometimes it is the simple actions that are preparing us for battle. And when we repeat them and they become second nature to us, we are strengthened and ready to fight back. And we're strong, right? So same way with the rosary. It's just our spiritual karate training in a sense. You know, we're doing it while we're sitting on our couch, sitting on a, our bed, relaxing, hanging out, doing whatever we're doing, we're praying the rosary. But then when the really big moments come and, and where our faith is being attacked and our life is going crazy and all of these things, we are strengthened from the repetition of our habits in prayer and of doing the rosary and reflecting on these things. So that's one comparison that I really like. The second thing that happens is it's really a trust exercise, isn't it? So the kid learned that he can trust the karate master because at first he's thinking like, gosh, this doesn't seem like anything's happening. Come on, you know? And the karate master's like, let me show you how I've been working. And it's same with God. Sometimes we pray and maybe we're asking for a specific thing or we are volunteering our time and our energy and we feel like, all right, come on, God. I've been doing all these things. I've been praying. Nothing amazing's happening. What's up? He's there and he's, he's telling us like, hey, watch, watch me. You know, we may not see it in the moment, but watch, we're being strengthened. Just because we don't feel a big crazy thing, we are being strengthened for battle. So the thought came to mind to share this comparison with you because it was something that helped me a lot in 
feeling comfortable with reciting the rosary and knowing that that repetition is strengthening me in my spiritual life. And I hope this concept helps you too. Thank you for watching everybody. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Enjoy the sunshine if it's sunny and if it's not sunny, it will be eventually. So <laughs> I don't know, that's what I have to tell myself here in the Midwest. It's that time where I'm just ready for warm weather to come back again. <laughs> so bye everybody. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you later.